Hey guys, yours truly again. Uh, I've gone and done it this time. Uh, I had to figure out why my marker was chopping, so I pulled it all the way apart. I stripped it right down to the frame, and then I took the frame apart on top of that. Um, I recommend that you do your maintenance on your marker. Uh, with the Valken M17, they say you've got to pull the heat core out before every match, i.e. every day or every case of paint and just lubricate the little o-ring inside um this was not causing my chops what was causing my chops was the end of the bolt had, had actually loosened off and this was not a manufacturing problem this was me trying out plastic first strikes loading the barrel full of 43 cal um rubber balls um, a couple of experiments I performed prepping for a video it generally putting things through this marker that it was not designed to handle and what it had happened as the bolt as it traveled through the guide and you're probably not gonna see this very well but the bolt travels through the guide and remember it's a two-piece bolt right there's a front half and a back half just at that point where the front half of the barrel picks up the, the paintball and goes to enter it into the breech. Now the air hasn't come on yet, but the entire front half of the bolt, now remember this was loose, the front half of the bolt can wiggle. And it was hitting the inside of my barrel, marring it up, which caused all kinds of barrel breaks and chops and whatnot. And, and, Again, this is totally my fault, and had I have done my maintenance on the regular like I was supposed to, I would have seen that my barrel was coming, or my bolt was coming loose. And to, to correct this issue, you take a four millimeter Allen key, and you, you search around inside the bolt, you, inside the back side of the bolt, you'll find it, and you just give her a nice twist, tighten it up. Um, because the two surfaces on the inside are machined, they will actually couple into one another and it will remain it, it, it will have its concentricity. Um, they, it won't be like offset or lopsided. It'll, it'll get centered. So that's going to solve my chopping problem. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt really quick here um, in the video. I'll send you right back. Uh, I just thought of something after the fact and I wasn't interested in recording for a third time. But I'm going to bring you guys super up close so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, I might flip you upside down, and I do apologize for that. This is the bolt out of an M17. Okay, I have thoroughly worked this thing over, okay? Um, you'll notice that it's two different colors. There are two different halves. Inside, and you're probably not going to be able to see this very well. Inside is an Allen head. And that Allen head screws into the greener part of the bolt. And as you can see on the other side, the air travels through the tube here. This is part of the blow forward system. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put this in the receiver so you can see what was happening to me. This here, oh, which way are we going here? Okay. Um, okay, so this is a bolt guide. This is the breech. This is the right half of the receiver. Okay, so there is a spring that's supposed to sit right here, which kind of acts as a bit of a bushing. Okay. The bolt traveled forward on me. Okay, and just as it was getting ready to enter the barrel. Oh, we're going to stop right there. You can see very carefully. Okay, you'll see how the entire green section of my bolt is sitting there unsupported at this exact position. Now during automatic fire, boom, 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 because this was loose, because I had put a pile of junk through this marker that I was not supposed to, um, this would rattle around like crazy at this exact point and it would just smash the living daylights out of my barrel. You see that? Yeah, that is no good. And if we can get the angle just right, we might see the massive score I put on the inside. Yep, that was me. This is, this is not an M17 problem. This is a, whoops, <laughs> let's make another stupid backyard video problem. 
So I tightened it up and I, I tightened it up and it all went back to, to normal. Now all I have to do is clean the absurdity out of this marker and I'm hoping I should be able to bring you a half pint Hero 2 video using the M17 and we'll find out what its exact capacity is shot wise. Back to the video.